Today I'm gonna to do a beauty question and answer video. Um, I really wanted to do a holiday makeup tutorial, but I think that's gonna to have to wait until next week. Right now it's very cloudy here and rainy and disgusting, so I couldn't get the proper lighting and the proper angle to figure this out. Um, so I'm just gonna to have to wait for that. So I figured this would be a really great type of tag question answer video that I could film and but still be beauty related. I have the questions right here. I skimmed through them really quickly. I figured, you know, this is a great tag. Let's just do it. Um, so I haven't really had time to think about many of these um, answers. So let's just jump right into it. Oh, also, as you see, I have a new background today. It's just my Christmas tree. I figured I'd throw the Yule log on the TV. Thought that would get us in the festive mood since it is the holiday season. Okay, so let's just jump right into this. The first question asks, what is the one product you'd grab if your house was on fire? I don't know. I'd have to say maybe my eyeshadow palette, palettes, maybe my Naked 3 palette actually because that's my favorite palette which I haven't used in such a long time now that I think about it but I'd probably say my Naked 3 palette because it's just so gorgeous and I love it and everything else I feel as if I could just replace and it's not a big deal so I'd probably have to say that. Okay, next question. Which beauty vlogger would you want to do your makeover is that really a question Jaclyn Hill obviously what celeb do people think you look like I get this all the time I'm sure I'm gonna get comments about it but everyone tells me that I look like Molly Ringwald back in the 80s I don't see it really I mean there was a time I did compare a picture and I saw a little bit but I think we maybe have the same nose but everyone in the universe that I meet, come across, bump into, don't even know, tell me I look like Molly Ringwald. It drives me insane. What beauty product do you save for a date night? I don't save any for date nights, really. <laughs> There's not one specific product I save strictly for date night. Maybe a different perfume. Um, for special events, I'll use my Chanel number no. five, but that's it. Other than that, nothing really. Which of your guy friends takes longer than you to get ready? I'm going to have to say my best friend's boyfriend, Luke, takes forever. I take an hour to get ready, right? I'm oh, sorry, my shirt's so stupid. So I take an hour to get ready. I swear he at least has to take longer than that. And it's not even getting ready. It's just getting up and getting to get ready. That's it. He takes forever. Sorry, Luke. If you could create your own Miracle Beauty product, what would it be? Oh, I'd have to say something that literally wipes out your blackheads in two minutes, like seconds, 10 minutes, I don't know, however long a mask can take. Every single mask I've tried that says they like completely get rid of blackheads, I know, everyone says, good a facial, blackheads gone, whatever. You know, they don't, they do a good job, and the one that I've been using, the Glam Glow, has done the best job, but nothing gets rid of those blackheads like I want it to and closes my pores, no, as, as good as a facial. And I don't have the money to go get a facial every freaking month, so I need something. What is your best beauty tip? Um, my best beauty tip is probably to, see, I didn't think about this. My best beauty tip is probably to take care of your skin. You really have to have good skincare routine. If you do not, your makeup, it doesn't matter what products, how much money they cost, it doesn't matter. Your makeup will not look good. If you do not take care of your skin, moisturize, tone, exfoliate, cleanse properly. If you do not take care of your skin, your makeup will not, will not look good no matter how hard you try. So. My best beauty tip is definitely take care of your skin. What beauty products do you love to splurge on? Well, I don't say I'd love to splurge on them, but I feel like I have to because I've never, my eyebrow pencil, I've never ever come across an eyebrow pencil better than the Anastasia Brow Wiz. Nothing compares to that. Um, also, my cleanser, my Purity Face Wash, Enough said. 
Which beauty vlogger would you bring with you on a shopping spree? Again, Jaclyn Hill, for sure. What is your signature scent? I don't really think I have a signature scent, really. I mean, I don't have something that someone goes, oh, that's Becky, that's Becky. No, I don't have that. I love this Betsy Johnson perfume right here. First of all, I love this little topper. It just smells so good. I've repurchased it quite a few times. So maybe I'd say this is my signature scent. I love it. I'll read the description to you. I had to look it up online because it doesn't have it. A blooming and colorful fragrance with notes of pear, tangerine, grapefruit, black currant, freesia, freesia, yeah, I don't know. Lily of the Valley, red apple, cedarwood, sandalwood, amber, and musk. Yeah. It definitely is fruity. It's definitely fruity, but not like I can smell the fruity. When you spray it, I, it's not like I'm dousing myself in citrus fruits. It's got the fruity notes, but I definitely smell like with the sandalwood kind of calms that down. Go out and smell it. It's definitely, I don't know where they sell this. I usually get mine at Marshall's. I think they sell it at Kohl's or, you know, online. It's to die. So that's probably my signature scent. I, yeah. The next question. I'm on the endless quest for the perfect blank. I'm going to say setting powder. Lately, because the winter has is here, I just, I can't set my under eyes. It gets too dry. To be honest, I usually use an eyeshadow and in the summer, I usually use an eyeshadow. I never have any issues, but like now that it's this horrible weather, I need like a hydrating under eye setter powder thing. Yeah. Okay. That. How many beauty products does it take you to get ready? <laughs> Too many to count. What lipstick lip gloss is in your purse right now? I have so many in my purse. Um, I don't know. Let me go check. Um, all right. So currently I have a revive lip. Ooh, a revive lip gloss um, in the color Temptress. Love these lip plumpers with their lip toxels is what they're called, and they're amazing. I then have a Tarte lip serger, which I believe is also a plumper. Let me just tell you guys, I hate uh, the smell of these Tarte lip sergers are disgusting. I don't know. It's not so much the product as it is the wand. Like it smells repulsive, like feet disgusting but the product inside is amazing so i guess i can look past that what else do i have oh i have a tarina tarantino lipstick um i got from boxy charm it's so pretty pink i don't wear it often probably why it's in here um another two Faced little tester i got from ulta a nude again i don't wear nudes very often so they're probably just all stuffed in here for days that i'm not wearing any makeup um Just all testers in here. Moxie by Bare Minerals is in here. Um, a lip liner. Black Cherry from Revlon. Love this color. Don't know why it's in here and not in my actual makeup collection. Um, Vaseline, little lippy. Another tester, Urban Decay, those revolutionary, I believe it's revolutionary. Lipsticks, this one is in 69. Um, I think that's it, oh, one more. A Makeup Forever lipstick that I probably used once. Again, another little sample size I got from Sephora when I went. Rouge Artist Natural, it looks like it's N9, or if I flip it this way, it's 6N, I don't know. I don't think that's a color. Oh, and last but certainly not least, the best of all, Lippy, I have in here is Dr. Lips Original Nipple Cream. I did say nipple cream. Nipple cream for lips, it is amazing. I'm out, practically, I think. If anyone knows where I can get this nipple cream for lips, let me know. I need it back in my life. Okay, next question. Who is your celebrity beauty icon? 
Well, I don't really have a beauty icon. I just, there's no one I kind of look at that I'm like, oh my God, you're so beautiful. Nowadays, I look back at Marilyn Monroe and just think of how beautiful, like naturally beautiful she was. So that must be my like past beauty icon. I just, I was, staring, I was just staring at pictures of her last night going, hmm, yep, you're beautiful. I love you. So I'm gonna have to say Marilyn Monroe. Name the beauty brand you'd most love to be the spokesperson for. So I feel like I already am the spokesperson for, um, well, one of the spokespersons, people, persons, people, things, for Revive Beauty's makeup line. Revive is the salon I work at. We have our own private label makeup line, and I love everything in that line. So I already feel like I am the spoke one of the spokespeople for that line. I love it so much, and I stand by it, and I don't talk about anything that I don't like. I would never bring a product being like, check out this lipstick. It's really great when it really sucks. So... Um, if I had to choose another line, I don't know. I think I'd probably say either Benefit, because I, their products are so cute and I love, love their stuff. And, or mm, maybe Urban Decay? I don't know. This is such a hard question. Um, all of them, maybe. All of them. That's it. What is your current nail polish? Nothing. Favorite mascara right now? Okay, so it's between two. It's a tie, so I can't even choose and I'm not going to. So it is Revives. Um, luxury mascara. Amazing. And two it is Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. Obsessed. Especially if I layer the two of those. Two dye. Last thing you bought at Sephora. Um... Well, the last thing I bought at Sephora was my a replacement of my Anastasia Brow Wiz and a Purity Face Wash. I got the gift set, though, that had the Hope in a Jar. Loving it. So that's the last thing I bought there. I try never to be seen without wearing eyebrows. When I do my makeup, it's definitely my eyebrows. I hate going through the time to do all my makeup all week every day for work and then not throwing on my eyebrows. It just looks ridiculous. So, eyebrows. And one last thing. What's one beauty product you'd always recommend? I'd probably recommend always a cleanser. I said earlier, you're, it doesn't matter how good or how bad your makeup quality is, it's gonna look like crap if you do not have a good skincare routine. So I would definitely recommend a cleanser or skin tear routine in general, but if I had to pick one, cleanser is definite. My definite, definite one. That is it, and that'll complete all of the questions today. I'm going to tag anyone who wants to do this tag. I think it's awesome, it's so much fun. Um, if you did like this video, please thumbs up it. If you have any comments, suggestions, or if you could tell me where I could find that nipple cream, please leave it in the comments below. Please subscribe, and as always, have a beautiful day. Bye.